Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are visiting the Revdanda Fort. Revdanda Fort is situated in Raigar. So for last few days we have been traveling around Nogaon, Alibag and today we are at Revdanda Fort. So we did not reach Alibag yet, we are supposed to reach Alibag. So currently as you can see we are in front of one of the school of Revdanda. Initially we thought this is a fort, uh, right? But Finally, we came to know no, inside this fort there is a school also. Uh, as you can see, like we are peeping into the fort, there is some hole outside there on the gate uh, where we can peek into, and we can see it's beautifully decorated. <laughs> Oh, so now you can see like uh, there is something written on the wall of the fort called Maru Ai Prasanna which means this is a Marathi language which means um, my mom is happy uh, it may be dedicated to some god but we couldn't go ahead and find out what is the actual ritual of this so, but this place was actually uh, maybe scary during the evening but not so scary while we were there দেখো না দেখো সি দিস দেখো হাতির দাঁতের মতো যে থাকে না সব পুরনো দিন নিয়ে চলো ইনসাইড <laughs> and within this fort this village there is something good which is happening and let me tell you something about revdanda fort this has been built in the year 1524 and it was built by portuguese called uh, someone called captain soj or soj but uh, till 1806 it was under the control of portuguese then in 1806 it was captured by the marathas then in 1818 uh it has been again recaptured by the english people the british while they invaded our country as you can see there are many uh, like cannon balls or not cannon balls actually the cannon fires are there right the houses which you see at the uh, back of this cannon and this tree this seems to be a banyan tree which might be some 100 400 or something like that years old and the houses which you will see uh, are localized houses so as we checked uh, this place has been actually currently bought and owned by the localites uh, they are the owner of this place uh, this property has been sold out by government or maybe the Uh, like whoever has been the ancestors for this like for this fort or maybe portuguese or british whoever was there they have sold it out to other people they have new people have purchased it so currently we are um, in front of another portion of the uh, fort where we have a kind of a watch tower or maybe a lighthouse we did not actually get it what is that but there is a monument inside this and on the right hand side there was some shooting going on and we couldn't go ahead and focus on them because it was not ethical to go ahead and uh, bring in someone else in your vlog without their permission so there was some pre wedding shooting was going on this place is actually awesome very nice very beautiful place as you can see. and this place i believe this belongs to um, like got some historical uh, evidence right let's get inside and find out what is there 
So as you can see, my friend Shovik has been explaining that this place is of historical importance. It's a historical monument and preserved by our archaeological survey of India. As you can see, there are a few more cannons lying out there inside the fort. These are also preserved by the Archaeological Survey of India. And uh, these are not well maintained. If you go out and see the fort and all this area, the grass might be beautiful. It might be neat and clean. They might have cleaned that. But actually, that mo this monument is not so well maintained. If they go out and maintain this, this, is, this can be one of the uh, best properties or means a monumental property, a historical property, uh, which people can easily come. Currently, as you can see, it is not so easy to reach here. Uh, so we had to go ahead and find a lot of uh, pathways to go ahead and reach over here. So finally, we were able to do that. But there, once we reach out, we see many people are there, like there has been some shooting going on. Many pre-wedding shootings are going on. Many other people are there, photographic sessions are happening. So as you can see, the far distance view of uh, the beautiful Rev Danda Beach, it looks so awesome, so beautiful. And you can see all those uh, uh, trees, uh, coconut trees. And that's the beauty of the coastal belt of Maharashtra, Konkan, or maybe the Western parts. So that's the beauty. Here we are for some photographic session with my with file, so she is all interested to photographic session. Uh, you have to get down those boulders which are there from the fort while you get down towards the sea. You have to cross those boulders, but it's a little bit difficult, but not so difficult. You can. As you can see, this is so, so beautiful. So let's get and speak to the local lights, what they say. There's the blue jet, okay? ये पीछे वाला पानी है क्या समुंदर का ये जो अंदर ही घुस रहा है बैक वाटर पीछे वाला ये इधर है क्या इधर है क्या और ये पूरा किला है ये कितना पुराना है किला ये पोर्टुगीज का है ना ये तारी कौन रहता है ये जो अंदर से घर बसता है बसा के रखा है वो खरीद के रखता है या इनका ही Yes, I am not sure if 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 I am पूरा उधर से लेकर पूरा ये रेप दम दही है क्या? पूरा आलीबाग सर। ये बीच पूरा आलीबाग सर है। हाँ वो तो हम लोग उधर हैं आपको क्या बोलते हैं? सीधा जाएगा तो पूरा आलीबाग से गया ऐसे। हाँ हम लोग उधर उसमें हैं ना? नागाओ में हैं हम लोग नागाओ से आए अभी। वो पत्थर दिख रहा है उसके पीछे नागा। ह 
पानी तो लगते यहाँ तक आ जाता होगा सुबह हाँ Here we can view the beautiful Revdanda photo. A little bit of hyperlapse view is there. This is awesome absolutely beautiful Enjoy the beauty So while we end up this blog over here thank you for watching so we will go ahead and get into the next uh, episode we will be riding uh, the ship so please wait till then thank you and bye bye for now bye bye Давай, 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 давай. Папа, 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 папа